Hi everyone, Karen here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, before I get to the crafting, I thought I'd take you, yeah, I make a little howl, a little Etsy howl and a little gift store howl. And I didn't find very much there uh, on my local thrift store, but yeah, a couple, no, a few things I should say. I found that old, yeah, old, I don't know, it's very old, but that wooden booking stamp here. So I thought that would be cute to make, I think, backgrounds, journaling cards and such. Then I found a couple um, Christmas cards, very old ones. Yeah, from the 30, the most. This is from 32. 33 and they got all that yeah mostly the that image or snow on it um that's from 1938 and also cute things that or funny things that uh, they written uh back then I had, yeah, I had a fun time to read these cards. That, that is a New Year card, and that's from 1936. And then that one is from 1935 from Germany. And that's also a New Year card. That is from 1912. That's the oldest one here, I think. And here I got the embossed one. Also New Year. And that is from, oh no, that's the oldest one. That is from 1907. Love it. It's cute. And it's very yeah, textured. <laughs> that's also um, Christmas. That's from 1937. Yeah, love it. That's from 1908. Yeah, I got a couple old cards here. That's from I I. That I don't know because, yeah, the stamp is away. Maybe it didn't go through the post office, post office, and that is also a new year, uh, one from 1934. So yeah, I got a couple because I want to make um, Christmas journals. <laughs> So for that and then yeah books old books not very special I think also the cover not so special but I think that that there are very good um, pages you can fold them and it, it won't tear the whole thing away so these paper are good so because of that I took this maybe I can do also a cover of course, I have to clean it uh, very dirty, but it's not in a bad condition. Yeah. Here is a piece of paper in it. An old, but... And that's the black one. It's for... You can... Yeah. And I thought the cover, it's not bad. It's a little bit old, but don't know what I make with this. But also, the paper are not as good as the other. But um, honestly, I don't know why I bought this one. But I I went with my daughter, and <laughs> I think I forgot to put them back. I think because I don't know why I bought that. But yeah. <laughs> 
now I have it. It's not, uh, it was not very expensive, so now, and um, that's that one, and then arrived today the order from Eve, hi Eve, <laughs> from the snippet shop, and it's not, I ordered a couple Christmas things because I want to make that Christmas journals and she has cute images on there I have to show you on the napkins they are beautiful sorry here no I shouldn't open first uh, before I filmed but I got that not a moment ago Where is that? Here. So, and she wrapped it up very. And of course, two trims. Oh, they are beautiful, but I get to that later. Very quickly, I go through this, but these are beautiful, beautiful images on that napkins. So, this is that with the angel, and love it, that scene. Also, the colors. Oh, and that's my probably one of my favorites of the colors look at that love it beautiful and that fox that's a watercolored napkin ah it looks like watercolor i should say but it's beautiful and then that scene with that um Love it also. Santa Claus, he makes the toys. Love it. Beautiful. And that one, also one of my favorite with that snowman and that deer. I don't know. But it's beautiful. And that also, I love these animals. And that with the bird one, also beautiful one. Oh, I can wait to play with this. Also, these lovely birdie ones with the hat on, or yeah, love it. So, and yeah, of course, it was fast because it, Switzerland is not very big. So, I put it back. So, and the next one are the trims, and they are beautiful. Even in, even in, uh, not only on the picture, but even oh, I have more bulk pins. Ah, cool. I don't have a lot of this. But oh, they are beautiful. And the feeling, wow, yeah, you see it's a green one with that beautiful chenille, I think it's called, chenille, chenille trim, it's, uh, she called, uh, it's called, it's listed like this, chenille, beautiful word, <laughs> and with that, um, yeah, Delicate and fine, beautiful. Also that rose, gold rose one. Also beautiful. Love it. So yeah, I can wait to play with these too. <laughs> and then of course she gave, as always, she come up with a little bag of goodies. Of course I don't didn't open yet. Let's see what she includes in that. Goody baggy. Oh, of course, her card. That's the shop fur. So go check her out. She's a sweet kind of person. Oh, cool. Wow. 
Oh, that's oh, thank you so much. Wow. Sorry, I have to open it. I have to see what she. These baggies are cute. <clears throat> and dreams are cool. But wow. That are metal pieces. One and that one, that beautiful, love it. And then that are domes, I should say, or brushes, I don't know. But they are very cute to put on the cover or such. I think that's a light. No, that's a Vulcan. It's very difficult to... But I think it's a Vulcan. And here we have a Dragonfly. Beautiful. They are cute. And that's a wooden piece with a butterfly on. I love wooden piece. And that one, oh, that's cute. I don't know. There is a name for that piece, but I don't know how it's called. Beautiful. Oh, sorry. Love it. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Eve. <laughs> and then, ah, the trim. Not the trim, uh, lace trim, yeah. Very beautiful green one. It's a grass green. No, it's a green, bluish. Yeah, it's very difficult to say the, the right color, but it's a beautiful green one. Love it. And, oh, ah, this I love too. Beautiful and um, eyelid eye. Lit trim, or I think I have right the name, but it's a lily trim. Love these two, so thank you very much, Chief, for the goodies. Always appreciate that. Such pieces that I don't want to use because they are beautiful, but I use that. I try to use up the things that I got because. I don't have the space for that, for to hold in that, these pieces, so I try to use it, yeah. Now, so, now I, I think I put everything away and then we get to this cover that I want to show you how I put that together. Um, yeah, I did the sewing, I did... Oops, the card fly away. So I'm right back. Not the, fi the finished cover with that, and I will glue it on. But before I glue this on, I should put the cover together. That, that's for me makes easier easier than to glue that on. I think so. I will glue that on like. This maybe not so straight, but not so like. Yeah, I will do it straight like this. I hope it's good. I want to see something. I hope I'm very, 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 very middle. Yes. Now, <laughs> sorry, I have to check it out because that's, I said that I don't want, um, I thought that I don't want um, so on the spine because the last time that I did, it was everything not straight. <laughs> so, but I didn't, uh, I did, I did uh, sew around because 
I think it's it gives a little bit of flexibility because the inside it's not tucked down so I can yeah move it to the spine like this oh sorry and I can first I will glue it on the spine oops the spine is here <laughs> Um, and I will see that the, the flowers are very centered, not exactly, but pretty much. And then I can, uh, and then I turn around like this and open up, try not to move. And then I make my marks. Uh, you will see I moved, I think, because I make the marks like this but that's straight i i think that's not right because that's not straight i have to see sorry that's very um not very it's difficult to center you see it's not straight at all with my marking so i have to do it again Now I try again, I try to clip it just a moment that it don't move there. Like this and then I can take that and see if it's, if I'm right or not. Yeah, it's a little bit, yeah not bad that's a little bit off so I have to do that again it's very it's not it's very difficult it's not very easy to center that and I don't know how I should pin it because it moves every time I pin it try to get centered here yeah that's not bad and then here oh see yeah no that's good that's good up there yeah one like this there is my yeah that's good and I open up and try you see I'm very off with the lines here because it's not a straight uh, because I did uh, the spine not straight yeah it, it goes it, it go it goes well you see in the end everything come together um, trust me I know that <laughs> um, where is my white pen here uh, I do I try to remove that chalk thing here mark not to move too much now try try it again because I'm first I would glue down the spine but I don't not go very much yeah I go to the edge but I try to use not too much glue only to put it down and so that I can sew around with it with the inside cover check it I double check that now so I take that and try to not move too much here on the spine area yeah I moved very a bit but it's not straight I don't know why 
No, I did it again, not straight. I don't know why. See? It moves every time it moves. No, it's good. No, it's good. No, it's not good. <laughs> yeah, you see? The struggle with making fabric covers. It's not so easy with the big ones. With the little one, I think it's easier because you don't have a lot of fabric and it don't move so much. I think. Now, I try it again. Mark the, the fold area here. And that line. Ah, it moves. I have to make that like this. Try to see. Yeah. Now, no, that's good. I think that's good. It's all in the middle. And now we can glue it down. Ooh, I glue it down. Yeah. I have to see where I marked, marked, not that I take, which one is the right one, I don't know, that one, <laughs> don't want to make mistake, ah, it's that, it's that one, yeah, so that first one I have to Make it a little bit more visible, and I don't see the straight line here. Yeah, now here it's good. Take the paper clip off and try to line it up again to see if I'm right. Good, yes, it's good. It's this one here. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's that one. I have to also to make it visible so I can see which one is the right one. So that one is the right one. Here and here. So now we glue. And I don't glue on the fabric, of course. I glue down here on the spine and then try to, yeah, you see, I make not that now. We make that now together. So I put that one here and that one out of my way for a moment. And I have this glue and the pencil, or I should do with fingers I don't know I think with the pencil not too much that it bleeds all through but only that much that it holds down secure securely so so I can stitch them around and not everything bulbs up I hoping I'm hoping I make that right with the fabric but I try you see when I failed you see that when I fail, you see that. <laughs> so, now. Now, the moment of truth. The moment of truth, I have to put away my pencil full of glue and take down my fabric first. And I have to go a little bit quick, but not so quick that I mess up everything. And then, yeah, like this. And then I go, try to, not to push nothing. I have line up here. And then when I think it's good like this, I push down. And 
I'm hoping I'm right. <laughs> now, try to go and open up here to see if I'm in the middle and I am. And I don't want that it's attached, so I have to be very push down here because that's the straight part. Mm -hmm. Push down, but I have to take my just a little bit push down, and I don't uh, stretch the fabric or or anything else. cut around because we will lay that piece here down on the inside fabric. That's also from the snippet chop. I did um, the mushroom one, hers, no, it's hers, um, that fabric. But I did the video so you can see that on the craft with me. So I put that under my rice bag and then we make, um, we go through the sides and I decide uh, what I want inside and I take you with me through the process because first I write it, yeah, I write down because it's our two signatures and I want to make the two signatures very much the same. So I have to only to figure out what I want in that one signature and then I have only to yeah copy on the second signature so no. I'm right back. <laughs> now I'm changed mom I changed my mind. <laughs> I did put that uh, under the rice bag because I won't finish up and then put it under the rice bag. So I think we do the whole thing and then put it down uh, from, to press down so it, the glue will stick right on that. And then I can glue um, this part on and then I can sew around and I'm hoping I'm get right to the to the edge and then cut down. Yeah, that's my plan. So we do that now. It's not stuck together, so we do that first. That one. That's the back part. And before I glue down, I should take the roller that picks up mm -hmm. that uh, things here. So I'm right back. I pick that up. I'm back. Now, see that one, but I don't have the handle, so I have to do it like this. Ah, that's not very easy like this. But I want not a fossil surface, so I can glue better on. Now, the glue. I have to take that and pull that back. And put the glue on. And this time I have to take the bigger pencil, the that one here. And also here, not too much, maybe on the outside and a little bit here, but not too much. And I did rough up, I didn't rough up the glossy part because I think it it's good. <laughs> like this. The glue will stick anyway on that so oh i don't have my pot 
actual paper down. So do that before I before you glue down, so you don't mess up your mat. You see, that's not a very thin layer. And then I try to lay it down, not to stretch anything. And I try to lay it like this, so I can push down like this. And then I turn around, push down. Oh, it's good. I like that. Nothing bleeds through, maybe a little bit of that one, but it lifts up, so not do that before, <laughs> before the, uh, the glue is dry. So. Now, the next part here. then I will put that down and here I don't put very much glue so can expand when I bend it over so everything is in place and work well also when you open the journal and close it should do the job I hope no I I'm sure, pretty sure. Not too much, Karen. Because that's the front part here. Sorry, I have to put my popcorn paper down so I don't mess up with my... I know, I always stand up when I glue down things. I see everything better. And the edges. And yeah, that's good. And then I put the parchment and lay down the fabric very loosely. And then try to turn around and then, and then push down. And I, all thread, I, I uh, pull it through the back side so I can make a knot and I shortened the thread and then you can, you have a nice flat surface, yeah, to work with, also with the stitching. And then try to... Where is my edge? Yeah, it's very... I want that, that came through the edge. It's very nice. I'm very uh, pleased how it turned out. Until now, I hope it goes. I like that. And then, of course, I will glue down that uh, yeah, focal point, I should say. I love that. That, uh, that wolf, beautiful. She loves wolves too, so I'm hoping um, she had also a lot of fun to ride in it now. So I put that now under the rice bag and then I'm back.